Now, here in Germany, prosecutors are calling a shootout near the Israeli consulate in Munich an attempted terrorist attack. Police shot dead an 18-year-old Austrian national in a gun battle. It happened on the anniversary of the terror attack at the 1972 Munich Olympics, in which 11 Israeli athletes were killed. This footage reportedly shows the gunman as he opened fire at around 9 in the morning. Residents filmed from their windows as people fled the scene. The incident took place at Karolinenplatz in central Munich, an area close to the Israeli consulate and a documentation center for Nazi history. Jewish institutions and places of worship in Germany are given police protection against possible anti-Semitic attacks. So the officers present were able to act quickly to neutralize the gunman. A police spokesman said the suspect was an 18-year-old Austrian national. They're still investigating the motive, but described the incident as, quote, an attempted terrorist attack. Bavaria's state interior minister said he saw clear signs of the shooter's intent. It's obvious that if someone parks right here within sight of the Israeli consulate, then walks around with a rifle and starts shooting, that it's certainly or very likely not a coincidence that he didn't know where he was or something like that. Um, that is the police will investigate this very carefully and then we will report concrete results to you. The attack occurred on the anniversary of a terrorist attack by Palestinian militants at the 1972 Munich Olympics, in which 11 Israeli athletes were killed. Germany's interior minister denounced the shooting. The protection of Jewish and Israeli institutions has top priority. It is of course very bitter that it took place in front of the Nazi documentation center and consulate general of Israel. Authorities say they believe the gunman was acting alone. They've increased their presence in the city, but say they're not searching for any other suspects. Let's get the latest from DW reporter Lewis Sanders in Munich. Lewis, what is the situation in Munich this morning? Well, as the city slowly returns to normal, the feeling there is a still an, an atmosphere and a feeling of unease among uh, local residents. Now, I spoke to one individual who said while he was relieved that authorities were able to neutralize the situation uh, quite quickly and prevent a wider you know, fallout, a wider tragedy, uh, it, it still created unease for him while he that he would he, that w there could be such an attack within the heart of the city. Now, we have seen other reactions uh, from others, uh, in particular the Jewish community, uh, who were, or in particular one who, who leads a local Jewish organization. She said she was profoundly shocked that this kind of attack could happen not only here in Munich, but so close uh, to the Israeli consulate here, which uh, authorities are investigating whether that was mm -hmm. the the intended target and so at the moment as the city slowly kind of returns to normal there is still a sense that everything is not quite right uh, do we know anything more about the gunman Lewis or his uh, motivations Well, local authorities have yet to concretely give us uh, any details regarding the motivation. In fact, under uh, my understanding is that they're still searching for it. However, we have heard from the Austrian Interior Ministry who said that the individual was uh, uh, under investigation last year and as part of their investigation. Now, now he was under investigation for suspected radicalization and as part of that investigation they searched his home where they found jihadist material uh, and, and media on his phone and, and other uh, uh, articles uh, within his, his uh, residence. Uh, now it's unclear, we've had mixed reporting regarding what the material uh, uh, was uh, related to, but there have been some reports suggesting that it may have been Islamic State material. 
Now, that would be quite interesting because just two weeks ago, uh, there was a terror, a suspected terror attack in Zollingen here in Germany, uh, mm -hmm. where 12 people uh, were attacked, three were killed, and nine others injured. And so at the moment, uh, we don't have any further details regarding the motivation, but there mm -hmm. is a kind of uh, a suspicion that it may be tied to uh, potentially jihadist groups. DW reporter Lewis Sanders in Munich. Thank you so much. DW reporter Lewis Sanders in Munich. Thank you so much. Thank you.